Plastic surgery isn't just for women. Men are going under the knife. We're going to tell you what they're most likely to have altered. Serving all of San Diego, this is your Fox 5 News. Coming up next, plastic surgery for men. It's not just for the celebrities anymore. The new trends for the average Joe out there. Well, once thought for women only, more and more men are actually headed to the plastic surgeon these days, board-certified plastic surgeon. Dr. Vince Merritt is here to show us the trend for men and also the results that, that they can achieve. This trend of more men with plastic surgery, when did this start? Is this kind of more, more and more popular? It's becoming more and more popular. The past several years, yeah. we've seen that, seen that men, I think when the job market started to come down, it became more competitive, and men were trying to find a, a way to make a difference. Men have become more concerned about their appearance, and uh, we see a lot more in the office. Why is that? You know, women have set a, set a mean standard that we're trying <laughs> to keep up with. So, uh, you know, a lot of men see that, uh, you know, their wives or girlfriends are looking better and better and trying to keep up. Now, who are these guys? Are these, like, average Joes, average guys who are going out and saying a little something-something here and there? Yeah, it used to be where you, you're seeing the Hollywood guys come through, and right. that's what we normally think of. But you're seeing average guys that are coming out that, uh, you know, have a particular area that they really want to fix. People always ask them about it. They look tired. Guys are having trouble with their golf game because their eyelids are getting uh, to be a really? problem. And, uh, yeah. Is that what they say? I'm I've having had, trouble with my golf game. I've had a, a, guy, little... a guy come in and actually <laughs> say that. And, it, uh, you know, it's one of those things. A lot of guys wait till it's almost an emergency from our right. standpoint. So, uh, you know, we, we want to get to it earlier than what so, they do. So for guys... What's the most common procedure out there right now? Most common is liposuction and Lipo rhinoplasty. Liposuction yeah, yeah. for guys, really? Yeah, yeah, and it's one of those that just guys, you know, a lot of times they put it in the love handles or in their, yeah. their abdomen, and, uh, you know, it's one of those things. They wear the uh -oh. trunks, and here come, you know, <laughs> bikini season's coming yeah, up. So, I'm going to yeah. close up my, my coat over right. here, Doc. Oh, right. excuse me. Okay, so we have uh, we have some before and after pictures. Yeah. That's kind of... Here, here's a guy that, yeah, that just had liposuction. You right. can see it just kind of takes away. It looks like he's kind of got that, uh, you know, love handles and uh, does, not looking too svelte and uh, a little bit of lipo can really kind of clean that up. He looks much better in a bathing suit or with a shirt off. So it just uh, makes guys feel more comfortable when they're out at the beach. And, uh, you know, we, we see a lot more of that on a regular basis. How long does that procedure take? Sometimes something like that's an hour, hour and a half. That's it? Yeah, and you go home the same day. And you can even do it without even a general anesthetic, which is really nice. Wow. Come in, have that done, and, uh, you know, you walk out of there with, uh, you know, okay. uh, not much recovery. We, got another, we have another picture we wanted to show you right now. Sure. Let's see if we can bring that up. Here we go. Okay, so this is the dreaded man boobs. Yeah, gynecomastia, syndrome. and uh, it's what actually is that called? gynecomastia, gynecomastia, which is uh, you yes, know sir. Latin. But basically, what happens is you have have uh, patients that come through and have ble breast gland that's in there, not necessarily fat. Hmm. All men have uh, you know the kind of the the same components, just is not as as dramatic. And uh, no matter how much weight that someone loses, sometimes there's a gland behind there that needs to be taken out surgically. Sometimes it's fatty tissue, but there, is, there are things that are more genetic. And uh, guys like that will never take their shirt off. True. Okay, our next picture, if we can get that one up. Here we go. Okay, now what's happening here? Right tell us, tell us, Tell us what you did and, and the results, because if... Unless you kind of know exactly what to look for, it's a very slight very difference. Subtle. I can maybe see a slight thinning of the nose. Guys, what we see, this, this uh, gentleman had trauma to his nose and got hit while mm -hmm. he was playing football, and it sure. kind of crushed that central portion, made it wide and flat. When you see him from the side, you'd actually see a lot more of a divot underneath there. And what we're doing is just restructuring that. Often it's trauma that'll bring hmm. a guy to our office. A lot of people are concerned about having that done look. You know what I'm talking about, right? Right. And a lot of that uh, housewife show. I see a lot of that. <laughs> There's out a there. lot of it out And there. also Bruce Jenner. Yeah. Bruce Jenner, Mr. Mr. Decathlete, gold medal. Let's get a picture of He's Bruce a, because good, this good is him on the guy. Yeah. Back in the what 70s, early right, 80s. Right. Right. What happened here? You know, I think this is the the classic issue with doing too much and sometimes waiting too long. We mm -hmm. did a big change. You know, someone did a big change to his face, and he just looks feminized. He looks too pulled, and that's exactly what we're not trying to do with this. We want to keep masculine features. You want to hide those scars. You want him to make you look like a younger sure. version of himself. There's just too much and uh, and too pulled. <laughs> Poor Bruce Jenner. Yeah. Okay, Dr. Marin, thank you. Marin Aesthetics. It's uh, Camino Del Mar there in Del Mar. There's yep. the number if you want to contact the good doctor. Eight five eight. 638-9800. Dr. Marin is back in our 9 o'clock hour, by the way, and we're talking about teenagers. Teenagers in plastic surgery. Yeah. A trend also? Uh, not as much, but something that's important to educate people about, okay. I think, uh, we'll making do, the right decision. We'll do that at 9 o'clock. Doctor, right. thank you. Okay, thank shall you. over to you.